life, there's changes. And I found myself divorced after 33 years of marriage and being a stay-at-home mom. Not really working while my kids were in school or at home, I found myself alone with three kids that I had to take care of. My mom helped me get a job at the senior center working for seniors, serving lunch. I quickly learned that they were very poor. Social Security didn't pay them enough and they had to pay rent and they would often come for lunches and try to get seconds for dinners. I, I initially started working there. I had a lady that was a volunteer and she looks at me and she says, I'm so glad they hired someone smart. After years of being told, you're not good enough or I could have done better than you, I realized, wow, someone else thinks I'm smart. So that started a path of me realizing that that could be me in 20 years. So I decided without a high school diploma, working part time, I realized I needed to change. So I went to the, the Provo Liberty High School adult education and enrolled. Embarrassed after 30 some odd years of being out of high school and 52, I decided I would change. So I, when I started, I had made a plan to go to the university, UV, UVU, and ultimately get go to graduate school. It was daunting, but I, I realized five years will go whether I go to school or not. So I, I went to the adult education and they quickly embraced me. They, they realized that, you know, I needed to learn and they were kind, not judgmental, and other people were around there were the same as me. So I realized I needed to start in the fall, so I worked on packets, and I worked on packets, eight credits worth, and was able to get done. I started in January of 2018 and finished in May and started in August at UVU. I, the thought for many, many times was five years will go to school whether, will go whether I go to school or not. And I think that, well, that helped me through. I balanced my studies being a single mom, managing my children's schedules at school, attending their extracurricular activities, and recitals and handling the household responsibilities. My graduate program, which I completed online at Carroll College in Helena, Montana, often involved attending classes on my phone while waiting as my child's rehearsal was, would end. Returning to high school, then university, and finally earning a master's degree in social work was challenging. But it was far less difficult than living without meeting my financial needs as many as the seniors I once served. I've been working as a hospice social worker for a year now and I'm living my dream. Reaching this point in my career is more incredibly fulfilling. My role in both re is rewarding and meaningful and I work with professional colleagues and support and care about my success. At this stage, my primary focus is to continue providing compassionate, effective care to my patients. I am committed to maintaining high standards in my work and contributing positively to my community. I have already achieved what I initially set out to do. I am grateful for the journey that has brought me here. My education has profoundly impacted my, my life and my family. With three of my children attending UVU and the positive changes in my personal and professional life, I feel fulfilled. Each morning, I am excited to get up and 
help as many people as possible and thankful for the opportunity to do so.